Actress Priyanka Chopra and her singer-songwriter husband Nick Jonas recently rocked the real estate world after purchasing a massive mansion worth $20 million in Encino, California, an expansive area within the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. These two moved in with each other not long after their epic-sized wedding that took place at the end of 2018. Nick and Priyanka have a very modern love story. Of course, it started on social media, and eventually they met at an after party for the Oscars. The couple, along with a few of their friends and family, even wrote out their mandated lockdown earlier this summer at this stately residence, and occasionally shared pictures and clips like this one of Priyanka making the best of a bad situation without a gym at her immediate fingertips. They've also shared a ton of pigs where they're lounging by their pool or spending their evenings playing with their dogs. Right around the same time that Nick and Priyanka scooped up their dream home, Nick's brother Joe and his wife Sophie Turner picked up a house nearby, spending $14 million on a brand new estate that's only about 3 miles away from his little bro. The sales of both of these homes are easily the highest on record in Encino, an area that was once considered to be something of a red-headed stepchild to LA's other luxury neighborhoods. But it's quickly becoming as chic as modern as anywhere else in the city. Before Encino, Priyanka and Nick were living together at another LA home Nick had bought just prior to their wedding in Beverly Hills. But after discovering the showstopper of a home, they sold their Beverly Hills pad to upgrade to their dream mansion. What's going on guys, it's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour, this time taking a look at two homes of Nick Jonas and his wife Priyanka Chopra. You guys requested this one, so today I'm going to take you inside both their Beverly Hills starter home and the stately manor they eventually upgraded to. If you like this video, be sure to check out our other house tours on celebs like Paris Hilton and Big Sean. We'll link to some at the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and now, let's get into this video. Nick originally purchased this Beverly Hills home towards the end of 2017, and while he'd end up selling it almost a year later, I'm sure he enjoyed it while he had it. Records show that Nick dropped $6.5 million when he purchased it, and he'd sell it in August of 2018 in an off-market deal to tennis star Naomi Osaka, the currently ranked number 4 woman in women's singles. Naomi paid $6.9 million for the place, which means Nick took a bit of a haircut when you factor in things like taxes and realtor fees, but considering what he eventually moved into, to, I don't think he's complaining. This Beverly Hills home is located high in the mountains in a semi-remote corner of the LA neighborhood known as Beverly Hills Post Office. The home sits on a ridge overlooking the surrounding peaks. Originally constructed in something of an architecturally ambiguous style, this 4,000 plus square foot home was built in 1965 and then completely overhauled in 2015 by LA nightlife entrepreneur Jason Lev, who transformed the formerly yawn inducing home into an unforgettable, slick, minimalist residence that evokes the best in mid century modern design. The inside of the home is refreshingly free of excess glitz and glamour, with the crisply styled decor highlighting the contemporary setting. Decadent hardwood has been used on many of the walls and provides a satisfying contrast to the white oak floors. Inside the expansive great room is an eye-catching fireplace and a formal dining area that's visually enhanced by the vast open space of the elevated roof and walls made out of glass. It might surprise you to find out that the kitchen in this home is devotedly minimalist, but still picturesque. There's also a library family room combo that's hidden behind the great room, which includes bookshelves and a giant flat screen TV. The master suite features canyon views and a spa-like bathroom. While located at the far side of the property is a separate two-story guest house accessible from the main home through a covered walkway. Within the compact building is a bedroom suite that can be utilized by either guests or staff, an office, and even a private gym with views of the backyard. Since the home is located on a sloped hillside, the outdoor space is a bit limited. To counterbalance that, a massive wooden deck has been built up to cover up the valley down below, which means that there is plenty of terrace space for sunbathing along with enough room left over for an infinity pool and spa. Alright, now let's take a look at the home that Nick and Priyanka traded up for, and I mean talk about upgrade. This sprawling house covers over 3 acres of land. Built on speculation by a local developer, this $20 million manor sits on a hill with long wide views of a stretch of the valley it's situated in. Outside, a camera watched gate and an attached guardhouse will scare away all those groupies that Nick has managed to collect over the years, and even a few that Priyanka has no doubt collected herself. Talk about a smoke show! Anyways, back to it, the long driveway of the home stretches below the main house.
house and into an underground garage with room for at least a dozen luxury vehicles. The interiors are contemporary with a homey lived-in vibe, sporting cream-colored couches with throws in warm browns. Wood and marble cover the cabinets and flooring, countertops, and more. I love you all and thank you for being so kind and showing such kindness. Um, oh, that's Gino. Hi, Gino. Come here, say hi. 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 Yes. Okay. Don't drop off my phone. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Yes, I'm coming. You want to play? You want to play? Double height living rooms with dynamic views of the mountain ranges in the horizon complete the overwhelming experience of just standing inside this home. Other eye-popping features inside this manor include a two-lane bowling alley, a mirror-walled gym, a restaurant-quality wet bar, and a movie theater with a gigantic screen. Wow, Priyanka still gets into Elf like she's seeing it for the first time. I'm right there with you, girl, one of my all-time favorites. The inside of their home also features its very own library, where Nick has been filming a lot of his remote television appearances. Here's a clip of Nick giving an interview from his library while talking about how he's been spending his quarantine with his beautiful new wife. Uh, it's been nice to actually have some time at home together, which we, we didn't have. And um, similarly, you know, she's she's really busy as well, oddly, in this time when we're kind of just working from home. So we have that time where it's sort of structured. We work out together, do our thing, and then go and do our work and come back and, and have our, our nights together. And it's really, really lovely. And she's she's the best. Did you hear what he said about her? And Nick's about as sweet as they come, if you ask me. Moving on, beneath the main residence, there's still more fun to be had with a sprawling games room that has its own pool table and a room big enough for a ton of guests. Finally, before we check out of this beautiful estate, let me just tell you about a few of their famous neighbors. Not only does Nick have his bro Joe living nearby, but some of their other neighbors include the likes of football player Dwayne Brown, actor Joey Lawrence, and real housewife Kyle Richards, who just so happens to be the person who lives directly across the street from them. You are so sick. Did you hear what you just said? My husband has helped you every month and stood by you and taken care of you, okay? Like you're a second f***ing wife, so f you for oh talking like God. that. Mom, no, no, no. Yeah, you better f***ing take that back right now. Yikes, that might be more of a negative than it is a positive. Let's see how that plays out. All right, guys, I think that'll bring this house tour to an end. What did you guys think of the homes of Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra? Which would you prefer to live in? Look, their first house was nice, no doubt about it, but if I ever had a chance to move into a home that features its very own theater with a screen that big, it's not even a question. My bags are already packed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep the conversation going, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!